Hello Sorex Spacers. I've not done an update video before, now I've got to get all serious, and I never talk seriously, so you probably won't get much of these, but I thought the best way to update you about the future of the channel and address one or two topics uh, would be through a quick video. So I hope you all enjoyed the last Sorex Space review, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Uh, I spent a long time writing the script and rearranging parts of it, and of course completing the game itself. But I was pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I'd rather not rush the reviews and try to make them as funny and entertaining as possible. Uh, in my opinion, the last few have been, uh, have, they've seen quite a no noticeable increase in quality um, from Sonic, you know, uh, the Cyberdeck review, Pit Fighter, um, Street Boys. Uh, I, think, I think I'm getting better with each one, which is always a good sign. Having said that though, the main thing I want to tell you about is um, the plan uh, to do a mixture of short art and long Sorax based reviews. Now the last one, the Sonic one, was about 23 minutes, which is bloody long and took ages to make, but um, I intend to make a mixture of shorter ones now too. Uh, not purely because I want to upload more often, although that would be a, a bonus, um, but I've got a list of about 30 potential games to review, and they all vary in gameplay length, so some will naturally be shorter anyway. Uh, secondly, App Trap is going to be back. Uh, for the gamers amongst um, my subscribers, you may not have looked at those, but there are tons of really crap apps out there, and some are too funny not to make a video about. <laughs> and when you look at the many unbelievably stupid comments people put out there, it's just <laughs> opportunity I can't turn down. So we'll be making more of those too. Uh, check them out if you haven't um, already, because they're a laugh. Um, as for other types of videos, I'll possibly do some more gaming challenges like I did with the Back to the Future 3 first level on the Mega Drive, where I'll play um, notorious levels from games and just try to beat them. Uh, the Battletoads Turbo Tunnel comes to mind, so it'll probably be stuff like that if I do do that. Um, I may also make a couple of gaming pickup bids, uh, just showing you some recent additions to my collection, how much I paid, that sort of thing. That wouldn't be a regular thing because I only pick up games every so often, but um, whenever I do, that's a possibility. You may have noticed I've labelled this video Sorak Says. No prizes for guessing where I got Says from. Uh, I'll possibly do some chat about my video gaming memories and some more gaming top 10s. Um, I've already done a top 10 worst video game box arts of all time. So if you haven't checked that out already, give that a watch because that's pretty funny. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to talk about the small YouTuber community and content creators in general. Um, I'm quite picky and I wouldn't describe myself as a YouTuber as such, but rather a, a content creator that happens to be using YouTube. Um, I'm not currently tying myself down exclusively to YouTube. I'm open to uploading to other video hosters as well. I had a Vidme account and it's a real shame they're gone because I think there was a real opportunity there to provide a strong platform for small content creators out there but unfortunately YouTube holds a monopoly on this sort of thing and it's always going to be difficult. But I think the best way forward is to get out there on social media, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you use and share the smaller channels you, you really like uh, to get the message out there because discovery is, is the key and it's almost impossible to be discovered through natural YouTube usage all the algorithms and whatnot. I'm not talking about random sub for subs, but subbing to channels you actually really like and just letting everyone else know that they exist uh, to help them out because they really deserve a chance. If the new YouTube partner program rules have done anything positive for small creators, it's that they've really helped uh, unite small YouTubers and encouraged them to do some of the more positive things I've spoken about to help them grow. Some shout outs for people I've met, well, virtually met, and some smaller channels I personally like that are worth a mention are V Rain or Vrain, um, who's a patron on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate that. Um, the Grumpy Retro Gamers, uh, I just love their sense of humour. Uh, definitely check them out. Uh, Worth It Dudes, um, they talk a lot of sense on the gaming industry, um, although they also cover other forms of entertainment as well, so give them a look. Uh, gaming Mill, he's not as small as the others, but definitely doesn't have as many subscribers as he should have. Take a look if you aren't already familiar with him, because I think he's hilarious. Um, Ed, Ed's Retro Geek Out, he's got a fantastic uh, retro games collection and some guitars as well for into that sort of thing. Um, I'll leave a link to all of the channels I've mentioned in the description. Uh, just a final note, um, I see the fundamental feature on this channel continuing to be the Sorax Space game reviews. That's really what I enjoy doing most and that will continue to be the central focus of Sorax Space. Uh, I enjoy making the videos and making people laugh so at the end of the day I'm doing it because I enjoy it and whatever happens, happens. So yeah, uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do, whether it's a game you think would make a great Sorax Space review, or a different type of video altogether. Let me know if you prefer longer or shorter Sorax Space reviews. 
if there are any apps you'd like to see feature on App Trap, uh, or just any thoughts on the future of not only my channel but all of the smaller channels out there trying to grow. I've been Sorax, watch this space.